All right, I'm at the game, Padres Yankees, about to get first pitch underway in less than an hour. Soto obviously in San Diego. The big topic today that I saw was boo or not to boo. And I don't really have strong feelings either way on this. It's not like he was here with the Padres for a decade. And I'm not gonna boo him. But I don't blame those that will at the same time. We didn't get superstar Juan Soto. Now, last year he was really good. He led the Padres um, in a lot of different offensive categories. He led the National League in some categories as well. His OPS Plus was well above league average. He did his part for the most part last year. But Padre fans are going to say, well, 2022 when he came, he underperformed. And he, was, he even admitted to the media today that he underperformed as well. Um, and so there was disappointment there. And then the comments of last year where he admitted during the Seattle series about the team quitting. And he said, we in that, not others. Um, so there's that. Him not being on the Padres is, is another thing as well, obviously. Him not signing here long term. There were the articles, right, from The Athletic, I think, about him in the hitters meetings um, where he had his headphones in or his earbuds and wasn't totally locked into the entire meeting. But that's because he didn't want to hear about the opposing pitcher, the, the scouting reports. But that turned some people off. Him going off and doing his own routine, not really with the, with the team the whole time, that's what we heard as well. So there's some things, like again, like both ways, where I understand those that want to boo, but then I understand those that don't want to boo as well. I'm not gonna sit, I'm not gonna stand again on this like standing ovation. I mean, come on, it's a, he didn't win the World Series. He didn't guide us to the World Series. 2022, it's memorable, but it's not like he came up with the Jake Cronworth hit. You know, I'm appreciative of some of the moments that he had, but he came here to go win a World Series and that's not what happened. So again, I'm not gonna boo him, but I understand those that aren't gonna, you know, like myself, I'm not going to stand up and give him this like huge ovation. That's just not where I'm at. But I don't feel super passionate of one way or the other, like I would for some certain other former Padres. So you can give your thoughts. Um, maybe some are kind of butthurt a little bit that he's raking with the Yankees and he didn't do that right when he came over in that Nats trade. He didn't do that. Um, so again, it, it's understandable. I wouldn't be surprised if he hits a bomb in one of these series. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he shuffles on you Darvish tonight or Musgrove or Cease because that's just what he does. Um, I kind of agree when he said, I think he said today, he's not. he doesn't really know what to expect. He's not really expecting anything because it was like a, it was a mixed Padres tenure. 